Okay, I went ahead and made a video since typing through text is a lot harder. So I'm just going to upload it and then you can see what I did instead of me saying do this, do that, do this, do that. So I went ahead and pre-installed, fresh installed my Affinia game. Just finished installing it. Everything's fresh. I don't have it. I haven't even opened the game once yet. So, and I downloaded the two files that I told you to download, but I'm going to go ahead and make sure that I go through all the steps. So I'm going to Google Finia Floor Reader. Click on this. Agarby's Guide on How to Install. Ignore this. Scroll down to step four and click on here to get Soli's GitHub. I'm going to close out the old thing. Boom. Because I just tested it earlier. All I need is this and this and it'll work. So click update it. You should have bbmod.zip. Click save file. Okay. Go back. Click download the latest version of this repository. Save file. Okay. Close the internet. Open up your downloads folder. There they are. Now what I recommend you do is what I did. Make a folder, a new folder on your desktop. You don't even have to call it anything important. It could just be new folder or you can just call it add-ons PSO BB. Drag the two files you just downloaded into it. Open it. Now you're probably using a different zip extractor than I am, so it's why yours won't extract to a folder. So I'm going to hit, with this, I'm going to hit extract here. There's the D input 8 DLL, D input 8 PDB, and the add-ons folder. Drag, left click, hold control if you want to click multiple individual items. Hold control, left click, hold control, left click. Drag those over to your installed PSO folder, just in the open space. Boom. Okay, all three of those are there. Now do the same thing, extract here, or just extract with the add-ons master folder. That one will go to its own folder this time. So double-click to get in. Now here's the add-ons. Open up your add-ons folder in your Affinia folder. Drag these in to just just this blank open space of the folder. Boom. Those are there. Okay. Now I'm going to open up Affinia, which you surely you already figured out how to. Obviously, you open the game before. You know how to whitelist it so that your thing doesn't say, oh, this is a virus when it's not. So I'm going to go ahead and open mine. Yes. Close these out because they're in the way. Options, I gotta change everything back. 1920, 1080. Audio, don't kill my ears. Okay. And hit more. What you wanna do is make sure you hit save ID and password so you don't have to type it in every single time you log into the game. Then hit okay or save. It'll say that, say okay, whatever. Hit start game. Now you're gonna see the boxes in the top left corner, big fat crazy big text start dragging them over because they're in the way drag that one away drag that one away when you get to this third one the timer just disable it close it in the top right corner drag monster reader away drag monster reader configuration away you can disable monster reader if you want it go enable it again x that item reader mags Drag that one away. Item reader floor. There it is. And then this is the item reader for your inventory. Drag that away. Item reader configuration. <sighs> okay, here's what I want to say. Uncheck equipped items. Unchecked photon blast names. Check ignore Masetta. Scroll down the bar. 
go to, you might not be able to see this because of the PSL background. I'm going to move this to the bottom left corner so you can see. Go down to AIO. Uncheck enable. We don't need it. And we get rid of that box. Open floor. Floor is enabled. Click no title bar. You see on the right of the screen. If you don't want it to say item reader floor, you already know what it is. So you can click no title bar, get rid of that. No resize obviously won't let you do this. And no move won't let you do this. So that's probably a good size. But I'm going to leave those on. Don't do that. Transparent window will make it stop appearing as a big box. For now, I'm going to leave it up so that we can see that this works. Click the very last one, mags, scroll down. Sometimes the scroll wheel works, sometimes it doesn't. Disable. Okay. Now I'm going to X out of that. Drag this over. Drag this over. I actually do like using this, but I don't like this one. Disable the all players. Minimize that box. Enable single players. Okay, cool. And now it's going to show everyone in the bottom left corner as four different boxes. Oops. I clicked the screen so it's angry. Okay, that's on. You can go ahead and close out of this box. And here's the menu to bring up all the menus again. So if you want to open up the item reader again, click, click. Theme editor. This is what I always do. This is a font that works for me. For whatever reason, you have to click and drag this. Click and drag to 1.2 and then save. To me, it's a little bit easier to read font. You could even make it bigger if you really like, like 1.25 or something like that. Okay. This one you have to click theme editor. There's no box in the top corner. Click theme editor again. Monster reader. Yeah, if you want to bring them back up, then you click them back up. You know, bring them back up if you want. But here's my floor reader on the right. I'm going to leave that over here. I'm going to go ahead and log in. Hopefully, and not not hopefully, it will work. Since I have the box on the right, you can see the box on the right. It is working. It works successfully. Hopefully, a video will help you out much better than just do this, do that. Oh, don't do this, don't do that. Over text. Trying to say something over text can be a lot harder than visually showing somebody what you're doing. So I'm just going to go to block one, block four, make a game. I'm going to use the button just to the left of the 1 through 0 keys above your WASD, the tilde button, to get rid of the box over there. I'm going to go ahead. No, I'm not going to. I'm just going to go straight to forest. Now, I do have it to ignore Masetta, so if I kill a box and it has Masetta. Oh, there we go. As you can see in the top right, I need to move this down a tiny bit because the map is now... There we go. Flame Barrier. It has 0 out of 5, 0 out of 5. That's the first item to drop on the floor. I have it ignoring Masetta because I really don't need it to tell me Masetta is on the floor. Laser. It has 10 to native, 25 beasts, 0, 0, and 0 hit. You'll figure out how everything works. But, yeah, it's... uh. It's really useful. <laughs> it's the most useful thing out of all these. I'm going to make mine transparent because I don't like the um, box being like that. So, okay. That's it. That's how you do it. I was right. It was simple. I just made it really hard for you, and I apologize for that. Hopefully this helps you out, man. Let me hit quick game, and I guess I'll end the video there.